Hey guys, what's going on? This is Josh from joshiller.com and in this video, I wanna show you how to do proper keyword research using the Google Keyword Planner. To get access to this tool, all you need to do is go to adwords.google.com forward slash keyword planner or you'll just simply go to Google and type in Google Keyword Planner. You'll be able to get access to it from there and you'll also want an AdWords account to be able to use this keyword planner. So you can just simply go to adwords.google.com as well, get an AdWords account. Once you log in, go over to the tool section and then click keyword planner and then you'll get access to a page that looks like this. So what is the Google Keyword Planner and what is keyword research? Well, the Keyword Planner allows you to do keyword research and keyword research is the ability to find keywords or search phrases that consumers are typing into Google and any other search engine on a monthly basis. So what a lot of people tend to do is they create quality content, but that content isn't optimized for what people are actually searching for. So first, before we even create our content, we want to do keyword research. We want to find out what people are actively searching for within our market. So I was talking to one of my clients today and he's in the uh, insurance and finance industry. And so what we did is we did a little bit of keyword research within that industry. So we started with insurance and then we got a little bit more targeted into life insurance. So what I want you to do, and we're going to sort of do this together, I want you to sit down for the next five to 10 minutes, go ahead and pause this video, sit down for the next five to 10 minutes, and think about possible search terms that consumers would be typing in to Google to find your product or service. So go ahead, pause this video, and once you're done, come back to this video and follow along with me. Okay, you should be done by now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start with one keyword term. So you got probably a list of different search phrases that you wrote down. We're gonna start with just one. So I'm gonna start with life insurance, okay? And then we won't worry about landing page or product category. Um, of course, locations, we got all locations selected. I typically don't change this unless I just wanna mark it to like the United States or my specific country. Right, so you can pick your country right here and then click save. And then of course we're going to serve the English market and we're targeting Google. And then we really don't need to worry about any of the rest here. I rarely use this section. So we've got life insurance typed in and then we're gonna select get ideas. So now what Google AdWords did and what the keyword tool did is it went out there and it found one, related keywords that are related to life insurance, and it also gave us data and gave us the average monthly searches for each of these keyword terms that we have here. So we'll see that life insurance gets 301,000 average monthly searches. So just imagine if you're ranked at the top of YouTube or the top of Google or the top of another search engine, that's a potential of 301,000 possible people that uh, would come to your website and possibly get a quote and, and buy one of your products, your programs, your services, right? Even more targeted, we've got other keywords, that ideas that Google is automatically giving us so we don't have to do any extra legwork and extra brainstorming. It will give us other related keywords that are related to life insurance. So we got life insurance quotes, life insurance policy, life insurance companies, term life insurance, whole life insurance. And as we're going through this, we wanna, number one, we wanna keyword filter, okay? We wanna look for long tail and buyer keywords. I've actually linked up a video in the description that talks more about long tail keywords and finding buyer keywords. But to give you just a quick overview, it's finding keywords where somebody's at the end of the buying stage, right? They've got their credit card out, they're ready to buy, they're ready to make some sort of purchase, they're ready to take some sort of action, right? They're at the end of their search and they are targeting a specific sub niche, right? So they're not just looking for a Sony TV. 
They've actually found the model, they're going to Google, they're typing it in, and now they're looking for the best price. So we want to find keywords that are long tail. Long tail keywords are keywords that have at least four to five or more keywords in the keyword phrase. Those keywords are going to be a lot more targeted. Okay, so like best life insurance companies be a great keyword to go for. So what I would do is I would take these keywords and I would save them to my keyword bank over here, right? Term life insurance quotes, life insurance companies. Still, that's, that's an okay keyword, but let's see if we can get more targeted. American General Life Insurance. That's a brand. We can also use brands to build our business. So lots of different keywords here. So what I would do is I would look through these keywords and we've got like 697 different keywords that we can filter through. But what I would also do is I would take one of these keywords like best life insurance policy and one of these targeted keywords and I would come back here to the top and I would now type this keyword in to see if I can get even more targeted keywords idea, keyword ideas. And then I could just rinse and repeat right now you still have a list of other keywords that you can also type into as well when we brainstormed keywords at the beginning of this video so that will give you a list of a ton of different keywords that you can be creating your content around where you have people raising their hands saying hey i'm looking for a life insurance quote and are you the guy or gal that can help me with a quote that can give that to me right so 49,500 people on a monthly basis are searching for life insurance quotes. If you've got a video, if you've got a piece of content that's built around that keyword phrase and you rank it at the top of the search engine, which I show you how to do in my YouTube course, how to actually create videos that get traffic, leads, and sells for life and attract premium clients, you can check that out in the description below. I've got a free training um, on that that will really go in depth with keyword research and optimizing creating a video and all that cool stuff. So with that said, I hope you got some value from this video. What I would suggest is that you take five to 10 keywords, right? We've got four over here. If we just add one more, uh, maybe it's life insurance company ratings. And then what we'll do is we'll create a video around each of these keyword terms and upload it to YouTube or create content around it on our website and rank it at the top of the search engines. And that's what we want to do at the end of the day. I show you how to get an unfair advantage doing that. So with that said, you know, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more quality videos on this. Feel free to check out my resources in the description. Give me a thumbs up if you got some value from this. And again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm uploading quality content daily that will help you live a life and have a business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. This is Josh from joshiller.com signing off, and we'll see you in the next video.